If you get man, now we talked about zone, it's still the same mesh point, but if they read man, what they're going to do is try to climb up the field. You don't want them to run flat across the field. Because if you think about it, if you've got a safety cover in this guy and he's running across here and he, he's playing man to mountain and he manages to avoid what turns into a, a rub or a pick a lot of times as you mesh, if he manages to avoid that and stay with you, well, if you run flat, he's just going to undercut you in the ball. He's going to knock the ball down. Okay? But if you make him go through all this and then you climb a little bit, well, his natural inclination is to try to catch up with you. He thinks you're going to go flat, so he's chasing the deer. He's going to run that way. And, and then the receiver climbs a little bit, and, and uh, it, it turns into a really a great play. If you got man coverage, this is, you just call this all the time. Because what will happen is the quarterback, he'll go through his progression. He'll step up in the pocket. He'll see the mesh. And then all of a sudden, one of them's climbing up the field. And he doesn't throw it. You know, when he throws it against zone, it's like throwing it right now to coach. Like I'm throwing it to Sean right there. It's going to just be that long a throw, and it's right at him. But when you're throwing it against man, it's more like I'm lofting the ball to that doorway over there. Okay? So you've got to have a little flat arc on it. So you've got to work on this when you drill it. All right, I told you all that so I can show you the drill. So that's the adjustment for man and zone, okay? And then you've got to get that down. Now here's how you do it. We do, make your practice feel. Five, ten. 15, 20. All right. When we drill this, most of the time, 75% of the time, we'll take our, our uh, X, our Y, our H, sometimes our F. Sometimes after we get this down, it gets a bit redundant. So we'll send them down to do something else, work on pass pro or something. But at any rate, let's say we're doing it with them. We'll put four quarterbacks or as many quarterbacks as we got. We'll have our number two guy, our number three guy, and then if we have to, we'll have like managers or somebody else or coaches. And we're going to work on, we'll put a cone out here at six yards. We're going to have a coach right here and a coach right here, or again, a manager. And all they're going to do is show those guys man or zone. So all the, all the guys, the coaches being the defenders do, is they do this for two steps like it's zone, or they do this, like this, where they're chasing the back out of the backfield for man. That's all they do. All they want to do is give these guys a clue. And you all got receivers that play, most of them play basketball. They can recognize man or zone. All right, so he's hauling right here to get to six yards. He's stepping up. He's hauling to get underneath him. We're giving a, a, a cue right here. Okay? Let's say it's man. So they're just going to take those two little steps like that. That's his cue to climb. That's his cue to climb. All right, our quarterbacks, they're all throwing balls. And we, we'll make them, we'll force them to pretend like there's a Z out here and everybody look at that guy first. All right, and then we're going to throw a ball here. We're going to throw a ball here. We're going to throw a ball here. And we're going to throw the last ball right there. And it should come out in that order. Okay? And so you're throwing four balls. In seven minutes, you can get a whole bunch of reps. You just have them there, ready to go, jump in, do it. Usually what happens is, the way, originally the way I did it, the receiver coach would take these guys, I'd go down here with the starting quarterback and the Z's, the top two Z's, and we'd work on those combination routes. Corner, post, speed cut out. And we would work from the five yard line one day, the 10 yard line the next day, 15 yard line, 20 yard line, and then we'd start over and we'd kind of move this drill accordingly that way if we had a could only a lot of times we've just had one practice field so we've had to learn how to do this in in a little bit of space 